Hi guys, I'm coming at you with another video. Um, I tried to do a video and did my makeup at the same time and it just was not working out. So I'm coming at you with a story time video. Be sure if you like it to subscribe and like and share with all your friends and let's do a new intro. Coco, so let me show you what I know now. Okay, so this story time is going to be simple, short, and sweet. Story time of how I almost got kidnapped. Um, I was talking to this guy. I wasn't even really talking to him. He was me up on Snapchat for a long time. When I say a long time, I mean a long periodically time. So I never hit him up. So it was like a year and I was already talking to somebody in the summertime. So I didn't really want, you know, to talk to a whole bunch of people. When I like someone, I like to focus on one person. And him stopped talking. So I want to go out on some dates. And this guy hits me up again. And every time he hit me up, he didn't seem weird. He didn't seem like pushy. He didn't seem thirsty. He was just like, hey, you know, every message that he sent me on um, Hey, I hope you had a good day. I saw your snap. It looks like you're having fun, things like that. So I didn't think anything of it. And he was like black. So I was just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So let's figure it out. If I finally respond, I'm just like, you know what? I can go out for drinks. I was staying with my parents at the time because I just graduated school. So I don't know. It's always weird when I buy alcohol because I never feel like an adult, but I know that I can buy alcohol. So I was like, I'm going to go to the bar tonight, come home from work, I get dressed. I tell him I'm gonna meet him at the bar around like 6.30. You know me, I'm always late, so I was there at seven. And then it was literally up the street at this Mexican like bar, but I didn't want him knowing that I lived down the street and I walked there, so I caught an Uber. See him sitting down, and then I'm like, okay, you know, like, hi, nice to meet you. Like, I'm Jazz, whatever. And then we go in, we sit down, we're having a good time, we're talking about life. We pretty much like are on like the same level, like everything's cool, like he's being a gentleman, like I ordered like, something like some taquitos or something that i didn't like and he told me that i didn't have to eat it if i didn't want it and i said don't tell me that and he tells the waiter that i didn't like the food and the order the waiter takes the order back and he's talking to him in spanish and stuff i thought he was black you know what i'm saying so i was like bilingual and this thing okay okay we we're having like a good time so i was like hey you know like it's getting pretty late like i have to wake up tomorrow and i guess that I think I was still in school at this time because I remember going back telling like my friends. So yeah, he hit me up last year, last May, 2018 May, a year before that, like he was hitting me up like a whole year and a half before that. So I'm telling him like, hey, you know, like you gotta get up tomorrow and like go to school or whatever. And like, I'm like, but I wanna go to the dispensary. So can you drop me off at the dispensary and I'll just like Uber at home. He was like, oh, you know, like, I have some weed, but he told me before he didn't smoke. So I was just really confused. Like why you have weed if you don't smoke? Cause now, you know, contradicting yourself. Now you're a liar, boom. But I was like, okay, whatever, you have some weed. So he was like, yeah, we can grab the weed at my house and you know, go to a viewpoint. And then, so like, I'm thinking like in the restaurant, everything's cool. So we get out to his car and I was just like, I'm really having a good time. Can I kiss you? And he's just like, yeah, you know, so we kissed. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm feeling myself. Maybe this could be something. Okay. And then, go to his house he lives maybe like 30 blocks away so he didn't even live very far and then we get to his house he shows me like his nice he says he has a roommate but he shows me like this nice apartment has like a nice little island kitchen table a nice little view like backyard and woods and stuff like that he grabs the weed and most people would think like oh why would you even go to his house but it was kind of like you could just feel the vibes off of people and he didn't really seem that weird. He seemed more like nervous and nerdy rather than like, I'ma kill you and me and him are the same size. You know what I'm saying? Size him up, you feel me? So, okay, we get out of the car, go to his house, look inside his house, grab the weed, come back to the car, go to the viewpoint, which again was like 20 minutes, like going south. And we get there, we start smoking. And he doesn't even drive up to like a parking spot or like, somewhere we can look at the view there's like two little girls like teenagers like smoking on the dock and then we pull in right where like the boats are supposed to get in the water so i'm like okay whatever and he just starts rapping like i'm just like mm, seen this before did this before i'm not having a good time obviously because like i stopped getting to know him like he's obviously you know not paying attention to me, I'll say that at the time. He turns on the radio, starts rapping, I'm not feeling it. After we smoke the joint, I'm like, thank God, you know, this is my first time smoking. Like, I should have just got dropped off at the dispensary because I'm still go anyways. I just remember, like, him pulling off, he's still not paying attention to me. And then we were driving down, like, 10, 12 minutes to my house, supposed to make a right, go right past him. Like, make a right right here. 
says nothing. He's a rapper. Who, boo, shoo, boo, coo, boo, doo, boo. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I start snapping in his face, start clapping in his face. And if you know me, like if you're not listening, I'm gonna be physical, you know? And we don't get you that high where you don't know where somebody's next to you. I start clapping in his face. He's still not paying attention. He makes a right, like maybe like five blocks later, like on the main street and then going. And I'm just like, okay. And I'm just like, okay, make a right right here. Got another opportunity. No. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga trying? Like, who the fuck is he, you know, like trying to throw me off, trying to throw like my energy off, like, I'm starting to freak out now and we're getting down the street to like going like towards his house but it's just like if somebody's in the car with you I'm letting you know right now I'm going to the house you know I just was like fuck like he's driving down he's not paying attention like he obviously doesn't want to hear me because I'm right here screaming at him in his face and I just remember like as soon as we get to the stoplight like stoplight and he goes on the back street so he doesn't even go like on the main street he goes like on the back streets and I'm telling him to like y'all make a right make a left like to my house or whatever and so we're driving down stoplight I'm like Ch -ch -ch get out the car I'm running down the street I call my friend she's like oh my god do I need to come pick you up and I'm just like no like this nigga's crazy and I never gave him my number in the first place I left it on snapchat so he couldn't contact me or like follow me or be creepy or nothing like that and yeah like i just remember like running home like i ran like half of the way and then i walked like the other half i told my friend i was getting an uber but i was just like i can walk this you know what i'm saying like i didn't even think of like he would just like pull up again but he was like calling me back to back to back like on snapchat and i was just like not answering because it's just like how are you gonna call me how you you know are conscious enough to call me to see where i'm at on the phone but i'm in the car with you and you're not responding so it was pretty scary for me. This is why I don't go on dates with people that I don't know or like on dating websites. Like I have to really get to know you. I have to see what type of person you are. I have to see you around people. I want to meet you in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like girls have all these like, reasons of why we want to do certain things or how we want to date somebody is because it makes us feel comfortable. And so I was just giving you guys a story time because I almost got kidnapped. He would hit me up after saying he's sorry. And you know, it was probably weird for me and that's not who he is or who he portrays to be. And can he make it up to me? But it's just like first impressions are everything. And I just don't think a woman would want to try that again. It made me feel uncomfortable. It made me feel I didn't have control over my life. So ladies, if you're out there dating or on websites or anything like that or meeting guys offline, I met him on a dating website, POF, and then moved to Snapchat. Always get to know them, meet them like somewhere where it's nice out, go to the beach when it's nice out where there's a lot of people and don't get a ride from them home. But that's my story time. If you guys like this video, like it, subscribe, share, and that's it. Bye.